Welcome back, sports fans. Bacon and Bacon streaking with two straight wins, looking for their third in a row. First of a doubleheader at the skillet with the Florence Flamingos. Bacon at bat down four to one. And all-star Double J, Jarrett Jenkins out of Georgia Southern, starts the revenge tour with an RBI single to plate fellow all-star Antonio Brown out of Mercer. Hustling all the way in from second to cut the lead in half, 4-2. Fast forward to the top of seven. Bacon down four runs with two runners on. Antonio Brown belts this one deep to right. There's an error on the catch. Two bacon bit score, and it's 6-4 home team. And then check out this next at bat. Yeah, you think he's excited then. Matthew DeLay Jr., he inches closer with the RBI. Single in comes a B from second, but that's as close as it would get. Bacon falling a close one, 6-5. In game two, they were just finishing up. The bacon were at bat and they were down two to one. I'll let you know before the end of the show. Now, the Southeast Regional Tournament for Little League Softball got underway this morning with a trio of ball games. The Southeast Region represents the state softball champions from the Carolinas, the Virginias, Tennessee, Florida, and of course, the Peach State. Now, here are the results from the first two games of the day, first three games of the day. First game took place at 11 o'clock. North Carolina takes down to Florida, followed by Virginia, who picks up the victory over South Carolina at 2 o'clock. And in the night, cap of 5 p.m., West Virginia, they lose to Tennessee 3-1. to one. Now Tuesday, Team Georgia will take the field after an opening round bye. They will host a North Carolina at high noon to start things off. Georgia is represented by the Warner Robins American Little League All-Stars, coached by manager Kevin Kincaid. It will be a Warner Robins' first time in the tournament since 2015. The hometown team is hoping for a big crowd there to cheer them on. We'll have coverage tomorrow at 6 and 11.